Hello everyone, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome to a video on this beautiful 1976 Cadillac uh, Sedan DeVille Del Elegance. Um, only 15,858 miles on this car. It is believed to be accurate and looking at the fit and finish of the car, interior, exterior, and wear items, there's no question in my opinion that it is accurate. Um, you know, special big body four doors, uh, kind of the last of the era. And uh, it's just a great cruising vehicle. Obviously, a lot of nice features that you had on these cars back in the day that you just don't get uh, on any other car back in 76. Uh, you've got wipers over here. Mm -hmm. I call them hideaway wipers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a better term for them, mm -hmm. but they do work and then stow nicely underneath the hood cowl. Uh, yeah, your headlights, they do all work as well as brake lights. Turn signals work properly left and right, front and back. Um, you got cruise control, a little power switch here, then I'll push of the button and it will maintain. Hold on, here we go. There we go. So we're going 35 miles an hour, put off the gas, maintaining that pretty steadily. Um, so that's pretty darn nice. <clears throat> you also had not only tilt wheel, obviously in this car, but you had the telescopic, which was an added feature for the bigger beer belly guys to get that steering wheel out of your way. But uh, really nice vehicle. Power antenna works properly. Uh, we'll turn on the radio here. Come on, and you can adjust the power antenna. On the dash, street goes up properly. And it comes back down nicely. Push him a button. So you got FM band, excuse me, and AM band. That's a station name. Because when I suggested the radio show, so again, FM and AM work properly, which is pretty sweet. All factory original, obviously. Steering wheel is in pristine condition. Obviously, the nice wood trim uh, overlay. And then yeah, functioning big body Cadillac horn, which is cool. Good old smokers for the ashtray cigarette lighter. The cigarette lighter does work, along with a huge glove box in there for your special needs. Cool old feature of the Cadillacs was the trash can down on the passenger side footwell. Um, something that you saw in a lot of American cars in the 70s and 80s and uh, was a nice little touch. You have armrest for driver's side and passenger side, which is nice. <clears throat> Both function properly. Obviously, you got these pillow top cushions, which are enjoyable to sit in. You feel like you're uh, sitting in your grandparents' living room and uh, nice and cushy and uh, plenty of padding. Driver's seat, full power driver's seat, eight way position. As you can see, forward, <clears throat> backwards, height, up and down. And then it has a front tilt as well as the rear tilt feature. And then there is a manual backrest adjustment that I'm not going to play with right now. But um, <clears throat> other things that were nice on this car, power windows and power door locks. Power door locks all work properly at all four doors. Uh, all power windows work. We'll put them down here. Got driver's side, passenger front on the two rears go down properly which is nice and what that does is opens up this whole car almost like you're in a convertible obviously uh, no B pillar on these cars which is nice gives you a nice clean look when they're up or down um, but it almost makes it look like a coupe in my opinion as opposed to a big four-door body uh, so that works functions nicely and they go up nicely Hot holes in Michigan and uh, you do have manual driver's side adjustable mirror as well as a passenger side adjustable mirror. And again, they do work properly as well. So really the only thing that I could tell that is not working on this car right now um, is the indicator lights up on the front fenders. You got those three lights that were for the parking light indicator, the headlight indicator, as well as the turn signal indicator. So those are not working. Um, we did not really deep dive to see why. It could be a fuse, could be a bulb. Um, 
but the lights are working properly outside of those indicators. Uh, the car performs awesome. I know we already have a driving video of it, but you know, it gets up and goes nicely. That big V8, uh, 467 cubic inch, and uh, plenty of power, plenty of torque, and uh, no matter if you got two people in here or six, it's just a nice cruiser down the road. Goes down the road straight as an arrow, clip along at 65 miles an hour, and uh, really nice here. So, brakes are in excellent condition, function properly. There's no pulsating of the brakes. Uh, it's that diving from left to right, which is nice when you hit them. <clears throat> the other thing is that the gas gauge is working properly. I know that because it was on E, and uh, before this video we put about 12 gallons of gas in it, and now it's just a little bit above quarter tank. So uh, overall, just a fantastic driving 76 Cadillac. Uh, these big body four-door sedans are, I'm not gonna say getting extinct, but they definitely are getting more rare as each year goes on, <clears throat> as well as trying to find something with you know, ultra low miles of 15,862 miles now after our test drive. Um, so, well, hold up here, folks. The indicator just turned on. Just a minute here. Yes, the driver's side one is working. I wish you could see that Steve over in that far left corner. It's blinking with the blinker. It'll be on the, far left, on the right side. You can see the blinker going as well. So, have my contacts and obviously when I tested it before but uh, again great body style um, just a great vehicle special color uh, off the top of my head I'm forgetting the factory color but um, it is just a gorgeous uh, deep blue looks good in the bright Sun as well as the uh, over overcasted days and the matching obviously blue cloth interior with the blue carpet is quite a uh, impressive feat lots of wood trim in this car um, <clears throat> Plenty of it to uh, go around in the driver's side, passenger, and then the rear compartment. And the other thing that's beautiful on this car is you got an ashtray almost at the other three locations outside the driver's door. So uh, back in the day, when you're smoking your cigars or your cigarettes, you had plenty of places to ash them and to light them. Uh, other thing that's always uh, a big selling point on these cars is the ginormous rear, uh, excuse me, trunk that uh, you can fit a ton of luggage, cargo, or kegs of beer, whatever your fancy is. So again, <clears throat> vehicles on Bring a Trailer, it uh, ends in about six days, and uh, I highly encourage you to bid often, bid with confidence, and truly enjoy this. Uh, one other thing before I let that clock, old analog clock is working. If you zoom in on the seconds, you can see as they tick, it's 339, 340, 350, and now on to the next minute. So again, power steering, power brakes, AM, FM cassette, or excuse me, no cassette. Oh yeah, sorry, 8-track, AM, FM, 8-track. Um, power antenna, power windows, power door locks, tilt wheel, telescope wheel, cruise control, um, and a host of other little features that I'm sure I'm forgetting about, but again, Happy to answer any questions. Feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're available pretty much any time and uh, be happy to answer your questions for you. Um, please vid and call us with any questions. Even the vanity light works in the mirror, which is really cool. Thank you, have a great day.